Hey guys, Purple Magpie here, and it's going to be my first video on this channel. It's going to be the setup of my second bullet journal. I'm actually about to finish my first one. I've already done it um, because, as you can see, I'm recording with my hands and my phone. I don't have anything to hold my phone with yet, so I, you know, I, I wanted to just show you what I already set up. Probably in the future, I will be able to show you how I do it. My second bullet journal is going to be in this beautiful um, copper Leuchter 1917. And like I said, conveniently, I ended my uh, first bullet journal right now in August. And by convenient, I mean that it's starting in September. And in September, I actually start my last year of high school. It's going to be pretty important. Pretty important exams are waiting for me. So uh, as you will see, half of it is going to be related to school. It's because, you know, I just wanted to have everything conveniently at the beginning of my bullet journal because I didn't think back then. And I just did a few things like in general, like, you know, books to read and films to watch. And, and I wanted to like make sure that I focus really on school this year <laughs> so that I don't mess up. So that I have don't so that I don't have to like go to index and just flip through and look for all those stuff that should be easy to find. So this thing here is just the light from my computer. I, I I have my computer on so that I have a bit more light. So let's get to it. We have the index. I actually have to make it shorter than in my previous bullet journal because I had four pages there for my index and here I have only two like I thought that um, it will be like in the standard Leuchter 1917 where there are three pages for index here there are only two so you know I'm gonna have to make it a bit shorter but we'll see how it's gonna go um, then we get to the first page and there is my quote um, I love quotes I love put putting my quotes everywhere. The first quote is particularly important uh, because it just like sets up the mood. And I love Tolkien, like I just, uh, I love his books. And this is a quote from The Fellowship of the Ring. It's one of my favorites. It's like, I think it is my favorite even. All the calligraphy that you see that I'm doing is actually done with uh, my Kuritaki uh, metallic brush pen. It's not like fully copper, um, like like the Leuchtturm, but it still got that bronze, like coppery tone to it, and I like it. Then we flip the pages, and we get to the key. I didn't really need the key. I um. I'm pretty set in in my key like I don't change it I just put like I love checking off like not crossing off the tasks as it is in standard bullet journal system but I like to like to check off I love it and I cross out if I didn't do something I if I didn't finish the task I uh, cross out if it's if it's cancelled and I do an error if it's migrated I do um it's like partially partial stuff you know, you know like I I don't know like I had something to do and I did a part of it so like let's say that I uh, wrote down uh, do research for the project and finish the project and I only did the research but I didn't finish it but I did half of the task that I wanted to do so it's not like I didn't do anything. And an exclamation mark for important. And I drew out this little uh, keyhole and key. And then we have my uh, year at a glance. And actually, you can see that it's not like a typical year at a glance. It's a mix of those two years. It's because I didn't really see the point of drawing out an entire page these 12 months just for the four months in 2018 so that it doesn't make sense and you know i know that for sure I, it will last me more than four months 
uh, this bullet journal like it, it has even more pages than my previous one and it lasted me for eight months so this is like a tip first typically school related spread because I drew up an entire like school year since September to um, and August off the, the next year I just think it's more like practical like I really know that I'm gonna use this year at a glance I actually did a mistake I actually made two mistakes I or I wrote down a 16 here but I actually covered it up with white I can't really see it so that's good I think I want to start cherishing the mistakes that I do like you know or making fun of it uh, like here I wrote down instead of June I wrote down the color red in Polish it honestly it's the color red I decided to like make fun of it because I found it actually more funny than embarrassing you know I didn't like mess up the entire like I, I made up a word or like I just totally messed it up no I just wrote a completely different word I just changed the last letter so I found that kind of funny so you know I just wrote down here like you know like red like this color then we have a semester at a glance semester at a glance here i wanted to say something um i actually uh, had a future future log in my previous bullet journal but i decided that uh you know i didn't really flip back to it maybe like once or twice so it wasn't really useful and i kind of wanted to have like a semester at a glance i saw this uh, idea at Planet with Kay, you should check her out, she's amazing. And so I decided to, you know, you know what, I'm not gonna like change the future, lo the future log because I wanted to kind of change it, but I decided, you know what, it doesn't make sense. Like a semester at a glance might be a good future log for me. And I also want to have everything in it, right? Like I want to have all my like bigger events, like, you know, just projects, presentations and tests and exams and all that stuff i want to have it but i also wanted to have on the same pages uh like stuff like holidays or like free days from school you know they're not holidays but they're free day and i wrote down four uh, months in for my first semester because we have actually at my school specifically uh, we have four months for first semester um and actually i made a key i made a light blue uh an essay uh pink for test purple for presentation an orange for exam a uh, yellow for free day off school then a light purple or this like lilac color for a holiday but without the free day and gray for other stuff for the other events um, and that I prepared it for two semesters. It's actually I wanted to have it all here Like I said because I wanted to have it easily like an easy access I didn't want to flip through my entire bullet journal and just Not knowing where it is and then I have That time of the month. Yeah, I actually uh, I know that you can track the lady time digitally but I like to do it more manually than uh, digitally and just you know my basic key from my previous bullet journal where I have you know it's for clean and red is for that day you know when I have it and then one dot for when it's really light um, two dots if it's like a normal you know like a standard amount and then three dots for like really a lot and it literally wrote down a blood and b for pain in polish so you know like cramps um i want to track that too so like if i go to the doctor i want to have it all here are birthdays i want to have everything in here i actually had birthdays off my closed ones in my future log in my previous bullet journal but honestly i it took up way too much space i think and so i decided to do like semester at glance and then the birthday spread and i have the first letter of the each month and again from september to august and here i put my washi tape it's actually like a copper washi tape i put it here because i really like this idea of like having the marking the pages 
uh, sides of the pages with washi tape. I, I really like the idea because then I can really just take the page and I can just see when I have a close notebook where I have it. And I didn't actually do it for birthdays. I mostly did it for the timetable that I have here. Uh, and here are just the days of the week and the hours of like when I have classes. And again, I put the empty page. Then I have, yeah, you can see I kind of smudged the lines. And here I have my uh, grades. Actually, I didn't really have to control my grades because I, I'm a pretty good student. I control them. But I, you know, it's my last year. So I want to have just everything like in sync. And so I wrote down all the subjects that I have. Um, here I wrote down the little, a little quote of which I absolutely agree. Uh, 321 Matura. Matura is actually our exam final tests at the end of the final exams at the end of school and then we get to the books to read i had it's not finished um but i actually had in my previous bullet journal here uh, books to read and films to watch but i actually didn't really use it i i never looked at it i also kind of didn't use it enough but i want to try it out um so you know the shelves the books all of it and then the when I borrow stuff and or money, and when I lend stuff or money, is because I have these. Um, I actually remember when I have to give someone, like I owe someone money, but usually or or I owe someone a thing, like I borrowed something from them, like I don't know, like a pencil. Uh, but I really suck at remembering when someone borrowed something from me so you know i just want to stay on top of it because i really want to learn how to you know respect myself and one of the things of like you know respecting yourself like i treat um you know care taking care of the the fact that you know no one is actually taking something from you they may not do it you know on purpose they may just forget about it but it's your business to actually take care of um you know making sure that they give it back so i did the two columns one is for money and it's like me and a person and it's like an arrow and i will have like either i do they owe me or do i owe them uh, and the amount of money and whether it was you know given back and money and just stuff like i can't tell you how many times I just, I don't even know how many pencils and pens I lost just because someone borrowed it from me and I didn't remember about it. Uh, the wish list. I wanted to have a wish list too. Um, I made it very simple. I didn't over, I didn't want to overdo it. And here are the packages. So I have the thing, the website, and I have the price uh, without shipping and with shipping. So then, you know, I can actually, if I buy something and it's some stationery or something and you would be interested in it, I can tell you how much I paid for it without shipping so that you can add your shipping and that and the date of arrival. That's it. It's the purple map pie. Mind map, it's going to be, I haven't done it yet. Um, and here will be like my statistics. Here are my ideas for YouTube videos and then we have the last spreads before my monthly setup it's the ideas for my bullet journal and ideas for nail art because I love nail art I, I love doing my nails and just you know like a simple table of like whether my for my idea and whether I did it or not and that will be it um, so yeah my next video is going to actually be my Monthly, you can see how gorgeous it is. The metallics. Oh. Um, so my next video is going to actually be my monthly setup. I will also just show you. I set it up already. Um, so I will show you what it looks like. This is actually a longer video, but wait for uh, my monthly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my bullet journal setup and. See you next time.
बाय